At the International Monetary Fund, I've looked at fiscal, I've looked at monetary, I've looked at financial stability. Now I'm becoming a tax expert. Madam Lagarde, why are we looking at taxing times? We're looking at taxing time because that's the title that we gave to our fiscal monitor this year. This fiscal monitor takes a very close look at the revenue side of government's accounts. So we look at, for example, whether there's scope to raise more revenue in many countries or whether we've really uh, run out of space on the revenue side. We think about issues of avoidance and evasion by multinationals, by individuals. We think about burning questions of uh, fairness in the tax system. And we think about some of the more technical issues that are so prominent now in dealing with international tax avoidance. Tax evasion is illegal. Tax avoidance, people are using the law to their benefit. Now, if the law is wrong, we need to change the law. Making sure we crack down on tax evasion and aggressive tax avoidance. Many are aided and abetted by a broken tax system, written by well-connected lobbyists on behalf of well-heeled interests and individuals. It's a tax code full of corporate loopholes that makes it perfectly legal for companies to avoid paying their fair share. Earning these profits outside the United States, by law and regulation, they're not taxable in the U.S. There's, of course, a lot of public concern these days to make sure that the very wealthiest among us pay a fair share of their taxes, meet a fair share of the consolidation burden. One question is, well, could they pay more taxes? That is, if we were to raise taxes on them, would we actually raise more revenue or would they simply move abroad? In the monitor, we look at the evidence on this and conclude that, yes, you probably could raise more money in many countries by increasing top marginal tax rates. The question of whether you should do that, of course, will depend on your social preferences. I'm here to pay 1,300 euros. How am I going to find the money? I'm a small businessman, so someone who earns 13 to 1,500 euros. How are we supposed to pay such a sum? For little shop owners like us, raising the sales tax will have a negative impact. It might have a positive effect on the economy overall, but for us, it means we'll have to drastically change our management in order to avoid a big price hike. Of course, there's no single right size of government. What the overall tax take should be will vary across countries depending on their histories, traditions, social preferences. But what you can do and what we do in the monitor is try and look at the evidence and compare countries with countries that are in some respects like them and see if in terms of what others are doing, it's possible for them to raise more. And what we find in that exercise, broadly speaking, is that certainly there are some countries where there's clearly scope in principle to do more, notably in the US and still in Japan, but many countries now really are pretty high up on the scale in terms of how much revenue they're taking from the economies. There are two words that no one should ever use when talking about tax reform to the American public. Those words are tax and reform. Is crisis the thing that gets this done? Or can we actually have intelligent form without, I think, of the first weekend of Cyprus as one example? Well, we're, we're currently conducting that experiment. We are. <laughs> Something of a schizophrenia uh, that applies to a lot, of, a lot of governments around the world. Because on the one hand, they really want to go after the uncollected or, or the yet to be collected. Uh, and there is a lot of assets that are hiding in various places around the world in very, very, very low tax havens. So there is that desire on the one hand, and on the other hand you have a competition between governments. Some of them saying, well, my corporate tax rate is only going to be so much, so why don't you come and invest here at home? So as long as there is not a common and good cooperation between the governments to go after, wherever it is, the untaxed and collected, I think it's going to take a while before there is real progress.